Hi, my name is Dr. Ross Hauser. Welcome to Caring Medical Florida. There's lots of people who have unexplained dizziness, balance problems, blood fret, pressure swings, arrhythmias. They all of a sudden can get palpitations or their heart rate can go really low. And they go to a cardiologist or several cardiologists and other doctors and nobody seems to know the cause of it. What we find in a lot of those cases is they actually have cervical instability, especially upper cervical instability. The sensory nerves that tell the brain what's going on moment to moment with heart rate and blood pressure are carried by the vagus nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve. Many of the vagus nerve uh, sensory uh, fibers that have to do with blood pressure, for instance, are in the carotid artery and the glossopharyngeal nerve in uh, the, aor the aorta by the heart. And they carry impulses to the brain to tell the brain what is going on with heart rate and blood pressure moment to moment. Because there are times like if your blood pressure is going low, you need the adrenaline system or the sympathetic system to kick in and raise your blood pressure and your pulse rate. Likewise, if you're an athlete and you're competing, you know, in a lot of times you actually need to be relaxed. So you need your blood pressure and your heart rate low so you can perform at your best level. When a person has cervical instability, especially upper cervical instability, it can affect the vagus nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve. The vagus nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve run in this carotid sheath with, which runs right along the anterior bodies of the cervical vertebrae, especially C1, C2. When a person has cervical instability, those nerves can get compressed and they can get stretched. And once that happened, some of the nerve impulses can be blocked. And that's where you could get all of a sudden, you could get tachycardia, boom, 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 and then it goes away. Or you could move your head in a certain direction and all of a sudden you get tachycardia. Or you move your head in a certain way and all of a sudden you get lightheaded. Because the brain isn't getting the right sensory input because there's problems in the nerve conduction of the vagus nerve and the glossopharyngeal nerve. The good news is that there's a treatment for this, which is prolotherapy. We document the cervical instability by a, by a scanning method called digital motion x-ray. And when instability is found, we then tighten the stretched out ligaments by prolotherapy. Prolotherapy is normally given once a month it causes a tightening of the ligaments. And once the spine, again, is stable, the, especially the upper cervical spine is stable, the blood pressure sensors and the heart rate sensors through the vagus nerve and glossopharyngeal nerve work correctly. And we've had even arrhythmias, even arrhythmias in patients go away by receiving prolotherapy. So if you have lightheadedness, dizziness, you're getting tachycardia or palpitations or having problems with a blood pressure that nobody can seem to explain and it seems like that it's neurologic. I'd really encourage you to get a digital motion x-ray and if instability is found, get prolotherapy.